Hello Libra, welcome back to the channel if you're a returning subscriber. There, I have shuffled and laid out the cards. Um, so as they're appearing in each house of the zodiac, then those are the influences that are coming in for you at this time. Um, the bottom of the deck um, is Venus Love. So I, I feel like the aspects of this are going to come in, but they're going to be different for everybody depending on where you are and what is going on with you in particular. But the overall influence of Venus um, is, is basically love. So, but through that, whether you apply it personally or impersonally, uh, and by that I mean whether it's to significant others or to uh, situations in your life, then um, it, it basically uh, brings in balance, beauty, charm, uh, and refinement. So all of those aspects come in um, with with Venus. So whatever's going on currently at this time, just bear that in mind. Balance, beauty, charm, and refinement. All of those aspects are going to be highlighted for you in some way, or you need to bring them in in some way. Um, it can also bring in, obviously, romance and love, um, but it can also be uh, in regards to a partnership, um, so that's a love or romantic partnership, or it can be um, some other kind of partnership as well, because partnership is one of the one of the top um, influences with um, Venus. It has aspects of that coming in. So what it's saying is that you know that is highlighted for you in a in a you know romance and love is highlighted for you in a in that kind of partnership. Or if it's another kind of a partnership, then it would be mutual mutual support and. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, coming together to, to move forward. So now, um, this card can also bring in, um, the, the requirement of uh, the need for luxury and indulgence. So it could be that you may need to, you may have the strong urge to do that for yourself. Um, or it could just be something that's an aspect that's coming in for you. Um, or perhaps you need to do that for yourself periodically. Um, uh, but it's almost like a yearning for the good life. Um, and, um, so it's, it's, a, it's a need for that in your life, the, the yearning for the good life, striving for that, um, stri striving, striving for that um, aspect of balance and beauty and charm or romance and love, striving to bring that into your life. And with that could possibly come luxury and indulgence. Um, on the partnership aspect, just be careful um, that it doesn't become codependent. Um, that can come in sometimes with um, with the Venus influence. So that is why balance is very, very important. Balancing your needs with the other person's needs so that codependency doesn't become an issue. Um, it could also be that legal issues which you have been grappling with um, and that may come up in your in your chart. Legal issues um, will more than likely find resolution with this card coming in. So that's uh, more than likely to do with shared resources as well or some kind of um, legal aspect to do with um, material or um, emotional or financial resources coming in. So now um, in your first house, you have fire element desire, which is that beautiful spark to get things done. But I feel that it's being driven uh, by the 12th house, which this time around has uh, South Node life's debts. So that's about dropping baggage, dropping old ways of doing and thinking and being. Um, and, and once you do that, then this comes in. So we'll get, um, at the end of the reading, we'll get to this card. Um, so just bear that in mind that this is going to be the driving force to enable you to do this. Um, it, it is possible that maybe the other way around where you are driven to do something and that triggers the dropping of the baggage from the past. So there's a kind of an interrelationship going on there. But fire element desires coming in for you in your first house. First house is the house of, of yourself. Um, this is your vitality, your life energy, how you are making your way in the world, your personal independence, um, your outlook, your your um, attitudes. You know, your, your heart, everything that you bring when you when you arrive in a room or in a place, it's everything you bring with you in yourself. Um, it's also your character, your character, your personality, and what you project to others. Um, so this is how you how you're going to approach things uh, in your life. Whatever it is that you need to do or get done, this is what's going to come in for you. It's also your self oriented um, interests. So um, that could be anything to do with with yourself, whether it's your physical body, uh, because this rules that as well, or it could just be, um, as I said, your attitude and your um, you know the way you are currently. So with fire element desire, I feel what this is, it can be a couple of things. Um, it's bringing in passion, uh, possibly even lust, 
Um, so that may be an element for you, um, but it also brings in action, courage, daring, um, almost like burning the past away, clearing the landscape for planting new things or for bringing new things in. So you're going to be getting energy and this is going to descend upon you and you're going to be able to move forward with a great many things. It's rapid, fast moving energy, fiery energy. Um, you may also have to get up front with someone as well. Um, to, to, to actually clear the air and be, you have to going to be brutally honest, I, I think, with this, because this can be that, uh, that way. You're going to be making changes or you're going to be driven to make changes, but they're going to be rapid, swift, all encompassing changes. Um, you may just need to, uh, when getting back to the, get up front with someone, you may need to protect your interests at this time from bossy people or people who think they know better. Uh, and they're going to give you advice, which is not necessarily good advice. Um, it's, it's, it's advice that they are giving thinking it's the right thing and it may not be uh, applicable to you at all. They su simply won't have a full understanding of what is going on with you. So just protect your interests, protect your energy. Um, and you may, as I said, you may have to get up front with someone, um, with that. Um, it's, but it's basically, it, 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 it kind of indicates, um, um, a challenge that you may be f facing at this time, and it's the overcoming of that. But it could also be a change of direction. And this is rapid, as I said. It descends upon you, and you're off in a completely different direction to what others perceived you to be doing. So you could be coming across as quite forceful and um, knowing your own mind, determin determined, um, and having the courage now to take action, and it will be swift. Then in the second house, we have part of fortune increase. So lovely card to be having in your second house. Second house is the house of your income. So this is the money and um, resources coming in for you at this time. But it's also um, the house of self-worth, which is often tied to that. But it's your, your self-worth and it's also your value system. So what you value in yourself and in others and in your environment. So this can be your possessions, um, your ownership of things. Um, and your attitude towards that as well. Um, and it's also the, um, uh, what it comes, at, at this house also covers property, land, real estate. So whether that's a career for you or whether it's something that you do or you would like to do as, as, as a part of your investment or just, you know, some, some aspect of your life currently. So with this card coming in, there's going to be a karmic trigger of some kind. So now a karmic trigger is, um, is, is, as, as I said, is atta attached to something normally which is past life related. But it, if that is, if that is not a, um, something that you're into, then it could be just something, um, from a past event or just something that's been latent in you, um, that g gets triggered in some way. Um, but this is normally a talent or an ability or an aptitude for something. Something gets triggered through an event or something that's said or done, whatever, but it gets triggered. And now that talent or that ability or that aptitude or that possibility rises to the surface. And, um, this, it now shows itself. And uh, so it was a hidden, a hidden something, um, comes to the surface. And now you can utilize this better. And you may need to be doing some learning around the polishing of that or the refining of that. Um, so that may be coming in for you. Um, this card is very much a pot of gold card. So I feel because it's appearing in your second house, what it's asking you to do is to take a good look at your income, where it's coming from, how you're getting it, but also your self-worth and your values and your all forms of ownership and possession. Somewhere in the in that landscape um, is a pot of gold which has not yet been um, harnessed. So it's something that you have overlooked or you have underutilized in some way. Something is a pot of gold for you. So you need to have a good thorough look around um, to, to figure out what it is. And I said, as I said, learning may be involved around that to, to harness it, um, to bring it into being. So that may be an option for you. But this card very often brings in recognition in some way. So you could be getting recognition for something which then increases your income or it increases your self-worth or it increases your values or your or your um, material things that you've got around you, your ownership. Um, this card also brings in rewards. So this is rewards for effort, but also just, as I say, a reward for um, for perhaps work that you've done or just your, you know, a, sort of a universal reward. It's a, very much a destiny card. So this could be attached to something like a mindset or something you've been working on your whole life or it's something that you project. Um, it's some skill. 
It's also appreciation. Uh, this may come in as well with this. But it's an easier flow. Um, abundance drops, literally drops into your lap. This is gifts um, and, and abundance coming to you. Now, abundance can take many forms, but because it's in your second house, house more than likely it's attached to money in some way. But um, as I said, it could also be rewards or recognition. So abundance drops in your lap, um, and it's like doors open for you. There's an easier flow. Good fortune is available for you at this time. Then in the third house, we have Chiron Healing. Third house is the house of communication. All forms, written, verbal, uh, body language, and it's also uh, your self-expression, but it's also um, attached to uh, specific family members. So it can be people in general. It can even be a, a wider audience. So this can be on a, on a platform or an online situation or just around you in general. But for specific people, it can be um, aunts, uncles, cousins, relatives, siblings, um, and also neighbors come in on this as well. So um, it could be uh, something like that coming in for you, but it can also just be communication in general with a specific person or with others. Um, but it covers documents. It covers um, uh, contracts as well. So the third house covers all of that. Um, and um, it can also cover a uh, short trips. So this is journeys locally as well. Um, but with... Um, uh, yeah, it also covers learning and the love of learning. So you could be doing that in some way as well. But I feel this is more to do with communication uh, or, and, and or covering documents or contracts around that. So this is Chiron Healing coming in. This is saying that in this house, somewhere along the line, you've got a an old dysfunction or it could be a wounding or a situation that has occurred um, and it's coming back at you now. So it's almost like it's reoccurring. So it could be reoccurring or it could be something that has occurred um, recently. And now it's, it's it, the elements of it are coming through again. Um, so it's some sort of dysfunction. Um, it could be something old that you've said or you needed to express. You should have expressed and you didn't. And it's coming back again. Or it was something that you said or did before. And now it's coming back again. But it's kind of it's old patterns old patterns or patterns of behavior or wounding. Um, and this is more than likely emotional or normally a, a relationship-based, okay? But it can also be um, a, a wounding or an experience or a, uh, some sort of situation that you, you came out of not feeling good about, okay? So um, this is a chance now to deal with this uh, situation and put it to bed finally. Um, and the way to deal with um, breaking these old patterns um, is to actually take this situation or whatever went down um, and to actually bring it into the light. And the way you do that is by fully acknowledging that situation or that person or that conversation or whatever went down that hurt you um, or caused drama in your life. That situation must come into the light. So you, what you have to do is you have to look at it and understand what purpose it had in your life, what function it had. Uh, what was the purpose of it being in your life? And then once you understand the reason it was there or still there, uh, once you understand that and you accept it and you forgive the circumstances around it, you don't necessarily forgive the person if there's been an issue, but you, you, you let your, you free yourself from being trapped in that situation. You free yourself from that. You acknowledge that it had a purpose and it had a function. You accept that function and then you um, release it and you let it go. And it should not reoccur then. Okay. It should not, because you're not burying it. You're not putting it aside. You're not putting it on the back burner. It doesn't slip into your unconscious life and cause trouble. Um, you're boldly accepting it and that it has had a place in your life. So that is how you deal with this. Uh, but it's about breaking old cycles of some sort, old pain or old issues that keep reoccurring. Um, this card can also bring in issues to do with learning and teaching. So um, there may be uh, aspects of that learning and teaching which you need to deal with as well. But it can also be publishing. Perhaps you need to communicate about your pain or about your experiences with others who are going through the same thing. So there may be a sort of a counseling aspect coming in uh, on that as well. So you could be helping somebody else with their own pain because you've been through it. Um, this is about wisdom through pain. That is what this card brings in. But it's the transformation of that. And you can only transform it if you bring it into the light, into your conscious mind and actually face it. 
Um, this card can also bring in aspects of unexpected visits to hospitals or med places of medical, um, you know, f medical facilities or some kind of healing place. You may re be required to go to that um, uh, in some way, shape or form. So this could be a local trip somewhere if it's a healing thing or it could be, uh, so, you know, a sort of hospital doors, so visiting a hospital of some kind um, or a medical visit. Uh, but it's it's kind of not necessarily, it's, it's kind of an unexpected thing. Um, it could also be that um, the world of natural healing, natural therapies, um, and uh, all forms of natural remedies and um, home remedies, um, traditional medicine, all of those aspects may be coming into your world in some way. So you may be expressing knowledge to another to assist them, or you could be learning about this, or you could be writing about it, blogging, publishing, something about that. Or you could just be going to any one of these aspects for healing. So this is naturopathy, chiropractic, homeopathy, any of those, uh, any of those alternative therapies is ruled by this card. So you could be getting healing through this modality, um, or you could be exploring it from a learning point of view or just for your own personal um, improvement. Okay, so any one of those aspects could be coming in for you, uh, but there's there's expression to do with this. There's communication. There's uh, even if it's communication with self, it's understanding so that you can release and move forward. 